What you guys got another video here for you. So you're having trouble with Windows updates. So let's go ahead and uninstall it. I'm going to show you how to uninstall Windows updates, different methods of doing this. Uh, but first we'll go to the settings here. This is the first method that you can use. Hit the Windows update section here. Once you're inside here, we want to go to where it says update history. Click on there. And once you're inside here, you're going to go down to uninstall updates. Click on uninstall updates. And once you go in here, it's going to open up the old control panel. So you can see it takes many different clicks to get to this location by using the new method. But what you want to do here is select the Windows update that is causing you problems if you've just updated and uninstall it. And this will uninstall that Windows update for you, especially if you're having issues uh, with some crashing or bugs or blue screen or something like that after you've updated your Windows 11 operating system. You can use this on Windows 10 operating systems as well. Let me show you how you can remove uh, Windows updates via the command prompt. So go to the search box and type CMD and then open up the command prompt and as administrator here, click on run as administrator, click yes for the user account control here, and this will open up the administrator command prompt. We need to type in here systeminfo.exe. Once you've done that, you can push enter, and this will give you all the information on the system about the updates that we're looking for here. And here they are listed right here. Here is all the uh, Windows updates. So if you want to uninstall one of these ones, you would just literally copy the number. You don't need the KB bit. You just want the number, and then you can basically type out this command. So let me show you how to do this. So copy the number here, and then basically once you've copied this, you need to type in the command. So that would be WUSA. So type that bit out there, and then put a space, and then put forward slash, and then uninstall. And then once you've done that, put a space, forward slash, KB colon and the number which is the number that you've selected to uninstall which is causing you issues so I've now got this number in here and I'm going to push enter and this will go ahead and say Windows update standalone installer do you want to uninstall it I'm going to say yes and it will start uninstalling uh, that update that has been installed on my system so we need to restart now. It does take a fair bit of time. I've speeded this process up and your system will reboot. And what will happen is it will start to uh, remove the update that Windows installed on your system. Now you really only need to use this method if you've updated Windows uh, 11 or Windows 10 recently and you are now starting to receive issues. Maybe it's an audio issue or you're getting a blue screen or maybe you're getting some sort of bug that's coming up and it's known to Microsoft, you can then roll back and uninstall that update that is causing the issue. And this is basically what this is designed for, is to uninstall updates that are causing your PC problems if you updated too early. This is why I tell people to wait before they update to the very latest version of Windows straight away. If you want to remove it in PowerShell, you can type PowerShell in the search and then click Run as Administrator say yes to the user account control, and you will have the administrator of Windows PowerShell window open. You need to type in this command here on the screen. So basically, once you've typed this in, you push enter, and you can then put in the command to remove the Windows update that you want to remove that is causing the problem. This will be the latest update that you've installed, okay? So you can always check that in the control panel of the date of the last update that you installed on the system. You can see the date up the top here, and it's all listed here. This is the installation date. So if you want to check which one you've just lately installed, you can then copy that number down, and you can then type in this command here to uninstall it. It will be the same as before. You would do WUSA space forward slash uninstall space forward slash KB colon and the number of the uh, update that you want to uninstall. In this case, we're going to uninstall this one here, which I've highlighted in yellow. I'm going to type this number out here and then push enter, and it will start the uninstall process of that update. So let's go ahead and push yes. We want to uninstall this file here, and it will go ahead and uninstall it. I'm not going to do this one because I want to show you another way of doing this as well. So let me cancel out here so I can cancel and show you the next way. 
The next way is to restart your system and hold the left shift key down. You keep your fingers on the left shift key while you're restarting. Don't lift it off, hold the button down. And when you restart your PC, it's gonna take you into a place where we can remove it, which is called choose an option here. We're gonna go into the troubleshoot button here, click on troubleshoot. Once you're here, we can go down to advanced options. Once you're in advanced options, we can head over to uninstall updates. So click on uninstall updates. And then once you're here, it's gonna say choose an option, uninstall latest quality update, or uninstall latest firmware update. If it's a, a security update or something like that that's caused an issue, you can uninstall the latest quality update. If it's a feature update, you can uninstall that by clicking the feature updates. So let's go ahead and uninstall this, and you can see it's starting to uninstall this update from our system. You'll get a message saying uninstall completed. You can then click OK and then continue to boot to Windows 10 or Windows 11, depending on what operating system you're using. So once you get there, you will get back to the desktop and you've just removed a Windows update that may be causing an issue on your system and you want to uninstall it. That's basically how you can remove any Windows update from your computer. If you like this type of content, check out my channel. I have over 2,500 videos on how to do things with Windows, Linux, and also how to fix problems with Windows or even product reviews or reset passwords and loads of different things like that on my channel. While you're there, hit the subscribe button and then click the bell and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. If you want to support me a little bit financially, you can hit the join button and I've got three tiers of support. First line of support is $2.99 a month. Second line of support is $4.99 a month. And third line of support is $8.99 a month. They come with different perks. It is a reoccurring payment and you can cancel at any time. If you join the second tier of support, your name will be added to the end credits on my video, just like these awesome people here. Anyway, that's about it for me. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely day and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.